wonderful to meet for meditation together. So we are multi-dimensional beings, meaning we have many parts of us. So we have our physical bodies, which are sitting in the chairs, and then we have our spirit, our soul, which is unlimited, unlimited. And the meditation for today is going to be very fun. I'm going to invite your spirit, your soul, on a journey. This journey is, the intention for this journey is to give you a sense of a vacation from your normal reality, your normal consciousness. We've all been dealing with a bit colder weather than we would like normally like at this time of year. So I was thinking about, let's all go somewhere warm. <laughs> so this meditation is called Journey to the Healing Waters. So whenever you're ready, I invite you to close your eyes and begin by bringing your awareness to your breath, just settling into this meditation together, feeling how it feels to breathe in and out, and just scanning your body. Are there any places in your body that feel tense? or tight? And if so, just bringing your breath into those places, breathing into those places, and allowing your body to relax. So as I said, I invite your spirit to take a journey, to take a journey. We're taking a very special journey to somewhere on Mother Earth. And this is, this is an island that we're going to. So first I'd like you to envision what you're wearing. So in your mind's eye, look down at your feet and notice that you have sandals on. You have sandals on. And looking up a little bit on your legs, you notice that you have shorts on because it is very hot outside. And just inspecting the rest of you, holding out your arms in your mind's eye, you see that you have short sleeves on. And you, in your mind's eye, just feel the sense of freedom that you have from not having to wear all these layers. You just have bare minimum clothes on. And just taking a second to enjoy that feeling. And now in your mind's eye, I invite you to start walking down a path. This is a path down to the ocean. So you see the ocean in front of you, and you're walking down a long, a long sandy path. And on the left of you are trees, palm trees. And on the right of you are more palm trees. And some mountains. You can see mountains in view. And you're walking, you're walking slowly because there's no rush, there's no hurry. You have the whole day in front of you and the sun is shining down on your skin and it feels so, so warm and delicious. And you're walking along this path, letting your arms sway back and forth and you just have this general sense of looseness in your body, carefree feeling. And you keep walking and you're coming closer and closer, closer and closer to the water's edge. 
and you start to walk into the sand that's a bit wet because the waves have been there earlier. So you feel the wetness in between your toes from the wet sand and it feels so good. You can feel all the little grains of sand just massaging the bottoms of your feet. And it's such a good feeling. And you take a deep breath. Mm. And you smell these beautiful smells which include a smell of salt from the ocean. And that salty smell is just invading your whole being. And it feels cleansing. And the stress from your, your life is just melting, melting away. And what else do you smell? You smell the smell of fire because someone nearby has built a fire on the beach and you can smell the logs burning. So there's that smoky smell also in your lungs. It smells so earthy and good. Hmm. And you also smell the smell of all the trees, all the tropical rainforest trees around you and the smell of flowers faintly in the distance, and all that life, all that plant life, that abundance, that juicy life smell coming into your lungs. Mm, and you just breathe it in, allowing it to invade your whole being. Mm. And now you start to really notice the sounds of this place, this magical healing place. So you notice the gulls flying overhead in big groups, and they're just squawking away. And you notice the littler birds too, the littler birds that are fishing and diving in and they're making these littler sounds like squawk, squawk. These little chirping sounds. And they sound like they're saying hello to you, like they're speaking directly to you, saying, we're so glad you're here. We're so glad you're here. Your animal friends are all around celebrating with you. And now, you begin to walk along the water's edge, and the water is gently lapping at your feet, and the water feels cool and refreshing as it spills over your feet and up around your ankles. And the waves are rather gentle today. There's not too much wind, so it feels rather soothing. And you keep walking, and you're gazing around you, noticing the details of the waves as you look out on the horizon. As you walk, you just look at that horizon, the blue waters, and sometimes the water looks green, depending on how the sunlight is is moving over the water. And the sky today is just absolutely blue as well. No clouds in sight. So it's so bright. And the water is glistening like diamonds. And there is a sense of well-being in your entire body. That well-being just floods and invades your whole being. And you know that if a place like this exists, that God must exist. 
that's spirit, that source, whatever name you want to call it, that that exists because this place exists as well. And you keep walking along, along the water's edge, oh, soaking in every moment, feeling the timeless beauty. And you look to your right, up, up on the sandy shore, and you begin to notice and really appreciate the sight of children running and playing. Some of them are in groups of two, and some are in big groups, four or five children all sitting together, building sand castles, chasing each other, laughing, exclaiming, shrieking, being silly. And they are just totally in the moment with you. And you look a little bit farther up on the sandy shore, and you notice the parents and the grandparents and the little family groupings. And the parents and the grandparents and aunts and uncles, they're looking down, smiling at the children, relaxing. Their cares are melting away as well. And you notice and catch the eye of a few of the adults, and you you smile and you wave. And there's a feeling of kindred spirits between you. A feeling that even though you're technically strangers, you're somehow friends. You're somehow more than, more than what meets the eye. And you keep walking filling your lungs with that delicious, salty air. With each step, you feel like you can breathe a little bit deeper, that your lungs can somehow hold more air with each passing moment. And you keep on walking. And you notice that you're coming upon what looks to be a very, very interesting part of the beach, you notice there's this little area where the sand juts out into the water. And it's almost like about a 10-foot area where the sand just comes out. And you start to walk down this little area. and you actually notice that the waves are coming in on the left of you and the right of you. It's a strange sort of magical spot where the beach has extended out in this little section. And you can actually see how the wind is moving the waves slightly differently. So you look to your left, and you see the waves coming at you. And you look to the right, and you see the waves coming at you. It's this little vortex, this little area where things seem to be moving in a circle. You can feel the tides moving. And you just decide to sit down because it feels very powerful and very healing in this spot. Everything seems to be moving. And as you sit down, onto the sand, you notice underneath of you, there's these little shells. And you actually notice that most of the sand under you is made of these little tiny shells. And they're all different colors, pink and blue and green and white, all different colors. And you stick your hand down into the sand. And you just pick up a handful of these beautiful little shells, feeling them on your hand. And at this moment, the wind begins to pick up a little bit. And you really feel this pulsing power. You can really feel the tide and how it moves and how it's strong. 
and you feel a little thrill of excitement. And you look out into the water and you know that this is the time for you to talk to spirit, to talk to God, to talk to divinity, and to ask for something. Because this feels like the perfect place to pray. This feels like an ideal spot. So you look out onto the waters, and you know it's time for some kind of healing to take place. So I invite you in the next few minutes to look within yourself and in your own mind, or you can gently whisper it to yourself, ask these healing waters for what you need at this time. What do you need at this time? And as you have declared, as you have voiced your request, your healing request, you breathe deeply and with a sigh of relief, you know that your request is already done. You know it's done. Because you can feel in this magical place that there is no time, and there is no space, and that everything is, and that you yourself have helped to create this beautiful moment. You yourself have come here to experience yourself as a part of Source. And you smile to yourself, feeling the perfection of the moment, Feeling the sand under your body and the wind against your face and the sound of the tides in the distance. Now you know it's time to return. Time to return to this place here in unity. So beginning to bring your awareness to the feeling of your toes and your feet, and you can gently wiggle your toes and feet. And you can bring your awareness to your hands and just gently moving your hands. And just gently stretching and moving your body. And gently at your own pace, you can open your eyes and return to this place with all of us. Hmm. So know that this place that you visited today you can always come back to it and revisit it anytime that you need a little help feeling happier or feeling warmer. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy that relationship. Thank you. Namaste.